a very good evening this is Alok Srivastava from Network Nuts so Saturday evening time to enjoy the weekend I don't know huh. uh, so basically the weekends my weekend is on Friday so I had already enjoyed my weekend so this is a uh, very interesting uh, I, I can see a trick uh, to manage your package management in rel 7 I am working on rel 7 so there is a very small tip and I found it very interesting in, uh, in, in our RSC book so why don't create a video and share it with all of you so we all are comfortable with the package management and we all are comfortable working with the yum so yum as we know is a pack is a package management tool and we use it for installing the packages removing the packages and a lot of stuff you are more intelligent than me now this here is a very small tool like suppose i've got my yum server configured on this machine only if if i show you i've got this whole dvd copied here under rel 70 folder and my machine is configured as a yum client also so here is the file sort repo so i'm because it's a locally local repository so i'm not using any protocol ftp or http i'm accessing it via the local folder file that's great so if i do a yum repo list is working everything is working properly so let me try installing a package i'm okay i'm i forgot to uh, tell you i'll be focusing on yum history options very good so if i check my package say httpd so the package httpd is not installed and my dear friend it's going to be a very small video so a 10 to 15 minutes maximum so the package is not installed so what we normally do we we just simply give yum install httpd that's great so the benefit of using the yum is that you know it apart from installing the package that i had instructed if it requires any dependencies it will install the dependencies also that's really great so i do a yes here that makes sense that makes sense really good this is really amazing so the package is installed now right now what we had installed the package now if i give this command once again rpm query i can see that the package is clearly installed so you need not to worry about this as the package is installed now what i want if i will remove the package let's see what will happen if i'm removing the package so like suppose i say yum remove http right now if you see there it's not going to remove the dependencies it's only removing the package so the dependencies will still be there and now i obviously i, I need to press y to do it i'm not doing it i'm just saying no here right so and one more thing like i i just uh it just came in in my mind every time you need to press e, y isn't it yes or no obviously you can use this command say yum remove httpd hyphen y you can use this switch which is obviously by default we uh, as you are passing the affirmative here it will not be prompted is this okay yeah, yes or no but you can make it a default one also though it is dangerous so there's the main configuration file of yum is that etc yum.conf right so here in the main section if anywhere if anywhere say i say assume yes right and say if i give it the value one sorry that means i'm telling the machine that by default the answer is one that means i am telling the machine right that default option is yes so let's see what will happen now if i save and come out here so in case let me check if i give a rpm query vs ftbd so ftbd is installed here so in case i wish to remove it so i give vm remove vs ftbd 
look i hadn't press yes i hadn't given hyphen y so by default it has taken the uh, yes value from the em.conf file so it is a dangerous one but if you think you know what you are doing then go ahead with this so again if i do a reverse of what i had done i say yum install vsftpd see by default it it is just shooting like this so no prompt on the screen no affirmative or no reconfirmation so i'm just switching it off once again i personally don't like this because i'm a kind of a stupid person i can remove any package any time so but yes just for your reference it is a very beautiful feature or a dangerous feature okay that's great so let us move on to the history part once again so i had installed the uh, package if you remember i had installed the httpd right so the package is installed here rpm query httpd it is installed so history will give you all the commands all the history commands apart from the yum commands and your cat commands and all other stuff i am in, i'm interested only in the yum history so i can just simply give the command yum history it will give me the commands that i had executed via the yum or the yum history but it is not showing me right it is showing me a brief description that the command is executed by user alok the, the timestamp and what i had done i had installed something i had erased something i had installed installed but what i had installed what i had uh, erased if you see there it is altered something is 10 coming up here so let me check what i had done what i had done at this step let me check let me check so this is four number right so if you want to get, have a more detail then you can have yum history same command and then write info and then the number say four so here i had installed the mariadb wow that's great i think that is for our last uh video which i had used so it is being done by alok shivastava the success was there and he has installed the mariadb there and uh, and all these dependencies right so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so now you know what it has altered ten right and if if i see here five so if i give the same command yum history info five so it is i had installed the apache air and the five here means these package along with the dependencies one two three four five so how many packages you have installed or removed is actually showing up with this number five or one or whatever now i had installed the apache so apache while installing the apache it has installed the apache and then the dependencies were also installed as it is clearly mentioned via dep hyphen install now in case i am trying to remove it yum remove httpd it is only removing the package it is not removing the dependency that is fine but in case i don't want this i want to remove dependencies also i i just want to remove the dependencies also so what i can do when i give yum history and then i try to find to find out what actually the id was there so i give yum history info 5 so with the yum history command the transaction id 5 has done all this thing right so if you want to remove the package as well as the dependencies which the normal yum is not doing it's a very simple command yum history undo 5 so this will do what see it is going to remove the package as well as the dependencies it is what i intend to show you so now it is up to you friends whether you want to remove the package as well as the dependencies using the yum history undo and then the number the transaction id or you wish to remove only the package not the dependencies right so that is a very small uh, trick uh, that i like intend to share with you so i'm just going to say yes here see it's removing everything that is great so normal yum yum remove httpd will not be able to do this it will only be removing the http package not the dependencies so the the dependencies will still be there in your machine occupying your space and other resources if you don't intend to use that package again right so so that is what i just wanted to share with you thank you very, uh, very much for watching the video and we'll be coming up with some couple of more courses and we are planning to have some a very beautiful option for 
all the persons who are not in in India or, or they cannot join us for the classroom be, uh, based training so we are coming up with something very new so keep watching keep learning keep sp keep spreading love that's it bye take care god bless i'll be seeing you again very soon i'm stopping the video now